What's up guys, AB Macintosh Tips, and today I've got a great application for the back to school goers out there. If you're in middle school, high school, or college, this would be a great app for you, and a way for you to stay on task with I Procrastinate. Enjoy. I Procrastinate can be found in the App Store for free. That's the best part of this app. It's easy to use, it's simple, and it's free. All right, so here it is in the App Store. You just click on Install. As it says, that mine's already installed because I'm going to demonstrate the app for you today. Here's a few screenshots of what you can look forward to in the app, and uh, we'll go ahead and go into it right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Desktop 2. This is Interface to um, I Procrastinate. Now, you can obviously have it in whatever mode you want, uh, whatever preview mode. I have everything in full screen preview so I can get the full, full screen effect uh, in line. It's for easy for you guys to see. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so we're gonna start with the basic interface and then we'll start from the left side to the right. So um, as you guys look here, you're gonna see procrastinate will not only show up as you're using it, but it'll also show up in your dock and it'll show up in your menu bar right up here. It looks like a small little book with a pencil on it. Okay, so there's the three ways to notify you. The fourth way is with your iPhone or any kind of uh, any kind of Apple devices, which I'll show you in just a second. All right, so if you look down here in your dock, it's, it's showing a bubble. Uh, and showing a one, notifying me I have one thing or note that I have up to do today. If I go to the menu bar, and I should go to do task today, as you see there, it's showing me one task. And of course I can go ahead and create task in my folders right there from a menu bar. I don't have to be exactly in the app, I can be in different apps and go ahead and jump to it. So let's go to the interface. On the left side here, you're gonna see do today, upcoming, look like upcoming events or projects, uh, start events, kind of like your favorites, uh, and then you have your subjects. So it's either the school, school sub subject or it could be work related subjects, it could be party subjects, it could be party supplies, whatever it is, this is your task force uh, interface. So let's go ahead and add a new task. So I've got one for Macintosh tips, I have one for school. Let's make one for graphic design. And then you can add a subject note. So I'll just put in um, my graphics. And then you can add a color. So choose from your crayons, or you can even choose from the color wheel. Whichever makes you happy. So we'll make this uh, blue aqua. All right, so we've chosen our color. We hit save. All right, so it shows our name, our description, if we have a description. And on the right side, it'll show our task. How many taxes, task is, tasks we have to do today, and then a future task, and that'll be the orange and the white. So if it has to do it to today, It'll notify me in the, in the orange if it, if it has to do uh, maybe tomorrow or next week. Anything from the future, it'll be in the white. So as you see here under Macintosh Tips, I have two tasks already. One is due today and one is due in the white. And it notifies me up here in the bar that the upload the I Procrastinate video is due today. And over here on the right side, you have your steps. So you have your steps and then you have your files. So it kind of flows from uh, from left to right and organizes everything top to bottom. So here's my step. So if you're if you're having to send this to somebody or you can't figure out how to do something like say uh, you're building a website and on the right side you'll have your steps on how to build the website or your checklist. Okay. So here is what I have to do to upload this I procrastinate video. And of course, as you guys see, since you see it today, I finished the task. So the first thing I do is open screen flow. Check. All right. I need to edit and record my videos, check. I need to export HD, check. I need to upload to YouTube, check. And of course, Epic Mill Time. I gotta make sure I catch up on my Epic Mill Time. Um, hungry boy here. So after we do all our tasks, we can go over here and hit this check mark, and then it'll notify that that task has been done. All right? After we have our steps, we have our files. So if there's anything we need, whether it's ScreenFlow files, it's video files, it's graphics, you can put in this right here to keep everything organized. So you can see here I have the iProcrastinate um, logo or icon that you guys saw at the beginning of the video um, shown there. So you can keep all your files, documents, everything right there in your file section. I'm gonna go ahead and check this off. And before I check it off, I'm gonna go ahead and make this my favorite. So you can see here, starred or favorite, it just jumped over here in the orange and it'll organize it very easily. If I remove it, it'll remove from the start section. I'll go ahead and check off. And then go to my upcoming events. As you see here, it's color coordinated. coordinated. So in the red means Macintosh chips, blue means school, as it's the left side under my subjects. 
All right, and you can always go in here and change your names and your subject name and stuff. So if I want to put note MCZ or whatever notes I want to add, just that little section, you can see you can add a description very easily and simple. Okay, it's very easy to navigate. So let's go ahead back to graphic design, and we've already added our subject. So let's add our task. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make a logo. So create logo, and here's my notes. So under my notes, I need to put uh, brainstorm. Sketch, and these could also be in your steps, and uh, finish. All right, so these are kind of your steps. These are also kind of your uh, your description. So you can put in here like uh, logo design for um, Macintosh tips, whatever it is. All right, so priority, we got low, medium, and high. I'm gonna go at this as the medium priority, and then. I'm not started, it's in progress, or it's complete. I'm gonna do this in progress and then have our subject. So I can choose my subjects from here. Go ahead and do graphic design. So if you do create something and you're under the school task on the left side, you can still go ahead and choose your subject and it'll automatically change over. And then we put when's the due date. So I'm gonna put this is due on Monday. And then you can also have a repeat. So this is due on Monday and I hit save. So it says it's due next Monday, that's in three days, it automatically keeps a countdown, so every day rolls over, it'll say two days, one day, and then it'll show up in my menu bar as I have something due that day. Very cool. So on the right side, steps. So to make a logo, like I said before, um, here's our steps. I'm gonna brainstorm, and then you just hit enter, and add a new task, um, sketch, create, And make it to a vector file. So here's my step. So say I have, say I have a brainstorm and a sketch, but I haven't created it yet on my computer, and uh, I haven't done it in a vector vector file. So um, if you'd like to delete some of these, so say you added one that says um, uh, sleep. So yeah, I don't really need sleep. So I'm gonna go back here and hit minus. It automatically do that off my steps. Go here to files, and as long as you're under graphic design on that left side, everything will be organized. So under here files, I've got this. Uh, our Macintosh Tips iPhone logo. So I'm gonna put that under our logo there. So my logo is there, maybe that's a previous logo or one that I'm recreating. I can go ahead and reference that. If you would like to look at it, you just click on it and it opens up in preview. All right, now if you have hundreds of tasks, say you are a heavy planner and you are not a procrastinator, <laughs> hence the name of the app, and you have a bunch of tasks, well you can go ahead and just search right here in the very bottom. This makes it very easy to organize your stuff along with just organizing your subjects. All right, so say it is um, school. So if I type in school, anything under graphic design, it'll show up in school. As you see, I don't have anything under school. Um, but if I click on, say I click on graphic design, clear this out, and I have logo, search. And of course it filters out. It's kind of a bad example since I only have one. It'll filter out showing that this word is logo, it's created there. Um, it'll pull from notes and also the title. All right, you can see there, like I said before, you can show, put it as your favorite to your starring. Over here it says how many tasks I have and how many I've completed. And then down here it shows I have a file attached. So it's a very easy way to, instead of have to go in the app, look in exact, exactly what everything's in that certain file, you can just go ahead and look at the title, see what you got, search it, and mark it done, if it's done. All right, now, so that's the way to sync your stuff, create your stuff, make steps, and then attach files. The last two things I'm gonna show you guys is the calendar. So you can see on the bottom here, you hit calendar. It shows a full view, which looks very similar to iCal, and it's gonna show you um, your task. So today I had two tasks that are already completed, or I can even add more tasks right here. It's that easy. All right, here I'm gonna drop down menu my subjects. So connect to MTZ. Say I've already done that, check. ACT test. I haven't done that yet. Okay, I'll save that for later. And then on Monday, I've got to create a logo. So I can go in here and, and look at the notes I've already put for it to make sure I have any attached files and go ahead and do that. All right, so that is the calendar organization uh, interface. Now, if I want to show compl uh, completed task, I click on that. It'll automatically show the ones I've already completed. I click off of that, it'll hide them. So click off of calendar, it'll take you back to the regular interface of so I procrastinate. So that's I procrastinate. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys are your notifications. Okay, so if I have one due today, 
I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and make sure make one that's due today. So let's save that, add a task. Okay. And make sure this is due today. So I'm just gonna go in here and change the subject, I mean the uh, date for due today. All right, so say this is due today, it'll show up down here saying I have four due today. It also show up here showing that I have several due today. I just added these real fast so you can see it. And again, several ways where you can just go ahead and create tasks. All right, right there on the fly. Now, I would have away from my computer and I'm not, I'm not around my laptop and I wanna know how to do this. Well, say you're at home in the mornings, you're having your breakfast, you're, you're planning your day, you've typed up all your tasks, you wanna sync this to your mobile device. All you do is you plug in your iPhone, all right? You download the iProcrastinate file, it's 99 cents, it's very cheap, compared to the, uh, uh, considering that the Mac app is free, you can't beat that. Um, download that app, it automatically syncs, and how you do this is once you go down here to sync, then you hit devices or even Dropbox, so you can sync it to your Dropbox. Um, so you can hit local devices, or you can sync it up to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and then it automatically syncs. Takes less than 30 seconds. It syncs all your files. You have it on the go, right here on a mobile device, and you're ready to go about your day. So, guys, that's I Procrastinate. Hope you all have enjoyed. Next week, we're going to have a Connect MTZ video, also a full refresh of ScreenFlow 3.0. We'll show you guys all the new cool features in that. And uh, I'm in touch with ScreenFlow now, trying to get some promo codes for you guys. So if you'd like that, leave a comment below if you'd like to win one. And if you have any other cool back-to-school apps, leave it in the uh, comment section below. Favorite this video if you found it helpful. And of course, I'm going to leave all the links for the iPhone app and this free app here. You can download right in the description. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.